Hi everyone and welcome back to Magical Obsession and our channel we do anything to do with Disney and in today's video I'm taking you guys inside the Paradise Pier also known as Pixar Pals which they are going to be changing really soon. So we're going inside the lobby as you guys can see it is very plain. I do not see a lot of Pixar images and or other things related to that. It is very simple. And as you guys could see, you could hear the construction. So right now they are under construction and they are working on getting this place more into a Pixar themed hotel, which I am very excited for. This is kind of like the cheer, cheer <laughs> the chill and um, play area for kids just for now. Um, I, I don't know what they're going to do in the future, but this is a nice place just to relax once you're out in the park or you're waiting for your ride to the pools, which I'm going to talk to you guys about soon. Next, we could see here it is the hotel gift shop, and I was amazed with this gift shop. They have so many Pixar things, even more than the actual Disneyland um, California Adventure Park. Um, I really liked a lot of the things that they had and I actually even purchased a lot of things They have a um, merch toys. They even have this little cute area where um, Kids are able to color which I'm gonna show you right now It's this little table which I thought was cute. You know, they could color while parents shop and look at the view as well They have a lot of hats and other things that you might need that you might have forgotten. I really love this little kind of, it's not a fanny pack, but it's like a caddy for your stroller to help you carry more things. Sunblock and the swimsuit. I really like this um, purple Minnie Mouse swimsuit and some swim trucks for the guys. Like I was telling you, it's really nice and it has a lot of things in the store, even drinks if you need some medicine which is always a plus because you know we always forget something now that our room is ready we're gonna go ahead and take you to the room i really wanted to see if there was any changes in the room so far so we are in level five and we took the glass elevator but they do also have another set of elevators down the hall which are bigger if you are carrying a lot of luggage this one's pretty small but we like to take it because of the view and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys our room right now going down the hall we see the flooring is actually um, sea themed it gives me a lot of Little Mermaid vibes Finding Nemo vibes which I like and the little surfer board there we got room 514 we used our magic key but you could also use your phone which has the key for your room and we are going inside of the room this room is actually very spacious and the first thing I saw was the little card there but it was very spacious which was I was um, happy about we did get the standard room standard view but here they were kind enough to leave us this Paradise Pier postcard just saying that they were thankful for our stay and letting us know about the construction and they gift us this little postcard. Um, it's more like a art piece which I love Bing Bong. I do not see anything different from my past days here at the Paradise Pier, so they have not changed anything in the rooms yet, but I did talk to some of the cast members, and they let me know that they are going to be making changes little bit by little bit. Right now, they, are, they do have a floor that is closed, and they are actually remodeling those rooms to make it more themed. But... Other than that, this room is still really nice. You still get all the Disney hidden Mickeys, like the old Paradise Pier vibes, which is just fine, and I like it. The room did offer plenty of space 
for you to store your luggage and hang up all your Disney outfits, which I love this closet and the two mirrors because it helps me look at the outfits that I'm using for the day. And you also have plenty of space to use in the drawers down below and I did use them. I like to unpack so if you need a plenty of space you are covered. As you guys could see there a lot of space and I did end up um, using a lot of the areas. As, right, as you can see I already did some shopping and I put my pins, pin books there to have them stored. They also offer this sofa bed that you could pull out and it becomes a bed if you need more space for more guests. Now let's look at our view. I was actually very surprised and happy to have this view. Um, it's not the vet best view, but it's better than looking at the parking lot, right? <laughs> so we get to see Disney California at a glance here. So now I want to tell you guys the benefits of staying at the Paradise Pier Hotel. One of the benefits is that you could just walk across the street to the Grand California Hotel and use the hotel as a shortcut to get to your destination. If you're looking to go to downtown Disney or Disneyland, you're going to go straight to that first gate. But if you're going to the um, Disneyland California Park, this is the best way to get there. You're going to use this gate, you're going to use your key to get, um, you, um, get inside, and you're going to use this pathway. I really enjoy walking here in the mornings. It's a very peaceful walk to get to the park and it's the fastest way. This is the fastest shortcut there is to get inside Disney California Adventure Park. Another benefit for staying at the Paradise Pier Hotel is that you have the option of choosing which pool you want to use during your stay. Because Paradise Pier is under construction, your pool is not available to use. But you have the option of those two and they give you a ride to any of them or you could just walk to the pool and use your key this time we decided to go to the grand california hotel You will use your room key to get inside the gate and you will find a lifeguard there and they will provide you with a wristband so you are allowed to be at the pool area. They have plenty of towels and they have life jackets for kids to use. And that is it for our stay at Paradise Pier which will also be known as Pixar Pals Hotel pretty soon which I heard that they're going to be doing a grand opening before July 4th. Let's see. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and please make sure to give a big thumbs up. It is free to you and it helps our channel out. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.